The Japanese Prime Minister Fumio Kishida has been evacuated from a fishing port in western Japan after a loud explosion was heard just before he was due to give a speech. And these are the pictures in from Japan's public broadcast NHK, where security personnel can be seen tackling a person. One man has been arrested. The Prime Minister was unharmed. Local media is reporting it appears a smoke bomb was thrown in the direction of the Prime Minister. The incident comes after former Prime Minister Shinzo Abe was shot dead on the campaign trail by a lone assailant with a homemade gun last year. Well, we know the Prime Minister Fumio Kishida was due to give a campaign speech. There are by-elections going on uh, in this western Japanese province. And uh, he was walking through this fish market. He had just gotten some local sushi uh, on his way to give this speech when there was this uh, apparently a loud bang. Now, we don't exactly know what that explosion was. There are reports coming out now that it might be a kind of a smoke bomb or some form of kind of pipe bomb. Uh, what we do know from looking at the footage is that security detail, police officers as well, uh, quickly tackled a man and brought him to the ground and they've dragged him away from the scene. And you can see footage as well of uh, bystanders kind of running away from the chaos. Uh, there are reports of people yelling, uh, or at least our, our voice being heard yelling, get down uh, after this um, object, this pipe looking object was thrown and it made this explosion and white smoke came out of it. Um, and, uh, but we don't exactly, as I said, know what was thrown, but it has been described as some pipe looking object as well. The Prime Minister uh, was evacuated. Uh, he wasn't actually at the scene where this uh, explosion occurred at the time. Uh, so he's unharmed, but of course uh, this has really kind of jittered uh, a lot of uh, nerves down there, um, given, as you mentioned just a moment ago, uh, just last year, uh, the former Prime Minister Shinzo Abe was assassinated. So the only detail we have now is that one man uh, has been uh, arrested, uh, and certainly some more detail will come to light throughout this afternoon. James, it certainly does um, raise questions around the level of security for uh, politicians and indeed Prime Ministers. You mentioned there uh, the former Prime Minister Shinzo Abe who was assassinated uh, while out on the campaign trail in July last year. Yes, well, year. Uh, obviously this comes after the uh, former Prime Minister Shinzo Abe, uh, as I mentioned, was uh, assassinated last year and that was at another campaign event. It wasn't actually uh, Shinzo Abe speaking uh, for his own election. He was there to represent someone else, similar to what Fumio Kishida uh, was doing today. And at that campaign speech in the city of Nara, um, a man used a homemade gun. It was really two pipes stuck together uh, with some explosives, very crudely made uh, gun there. And, uh, and that firearm was fired once, it missed, and then a few seconds later it was fired again and hit the former Prime Minister uh, Shinzo Abe. And uh, he obviously died uh, at the scene uh, and that was uh, such a big shake up, such a big shock uh, for this country considering how safe uh, Japan is. Gun violence is never an issue <laughs> discussed in any uh, serious way here. Um, you know, as demonstrated by the fact that it was a homemade, pipe uh, gun that was used last year it wasn't actually a firearm bought in a shop uh, at all. Uh, one of the things that came out of that uh, situation was just how serious the security detail was at the time. Um, were they paying enough attention? Well, there's a lot of resignations after that, high profile resignations in the local force down there, um, because really it was concluded that no, not enough security attention was provided to the uh, former prime minister. And, you know, really the damning evidence was that there was around two and a half seconds between the first fire and the second fire as well. So there were some serious uh, lessons learnt from that last year. So, uh, you know, how they may have planned out in the preparation for today's event and subsequent events, well, we'll find out more detail here, but certainly uh, this would have brought back some of those memories from the shock of last year's assassination of uh, uh, Prime Minister Shinzo Abe. Certainly a lot of questions to consider and uh, many more developments to unfold there. That is our North Asia correspondent James Oten reporting in Tokyo.